Mike uh, from Miami Women's Basketball and this is the history of the program. And there were a lot of alums there tonight, but it, of course we had to honor Tamara. And I just said to the team in the locker room, you know, you can open up a stat book and see how great of a player she was. Leading scorer, male or female at the university, unbelievable rebounds, how many double-doubles she had. But the real statement of who Tamara is was the fact that about 250, 300 people came to honor her tonight. And, you know, holiday night, you know, there's other things you could be doing right now, and busloads of people came to honor her. And, you know, that, that doesn't show up in a record book, but that was so obvious, and that really captures the essence of how, you know, a local young lady came here and just changed the face of the program, and now her, her you know, her jersey's hanging in the, in the rafters, and that's special as a coach, and I was only blessed to coach her a year, but uh, that's a really big deal. It was a big moment. The players, too, were wanted to talk about what your reaction to um, Tamara's ceremony. Just greatness, like her, like just leaving such a big mark on the school, you know, like like Gus wanted to follow her, wanted to be great like her. Like, um, for me personally, like coming from where I'm from, like I look up to her a lot, because um, she kind of grew up in a rough neighborhood, but not too rough, but it, it just inspired me to want to be great and want to work hard every day. Just ask the same question. Your reaction to, to the ceremony and retiring of her jersey? I'm just obviously not shocked, not surprised. Um, I thought I would have seen her um, jersey um, I mean, hanging out uh, sooner. Uh, I've had the honor of playing pick up with her a few times, and um, she's no joke. Um, no joke whatsoever. <laughs> Don't take a night on us at all. That was when I was like a freshman, so it was a rude awakening coming in, but um, it's a great honor for her. Um, I'm really happy for her, and I too want to be just like her. But hopefully, we get a chance to break that record. <laughs> I know. And, and, and Coach, uh, talking to Tamara today was a, was a while in the making. Like you guys were trying to get this done. For, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? About yeah. You know, she kind of there was sort of a transition between how the, how they retire a jersey and what's required to retire a jersey and how long there was a wait and all that and you know just kind of all got and then we finally got it approved but we wanted her here and with her schedule and playing overseas yeah. it was very tough to get her in town. In fact, she had to ask special permission to stay two extra days here just for the ceremony for our team in Israel right now. So, um, but it, it's, you know what, no one can take it away now. It's up there, and that's big time. You think these girls could possibly break her? I record? absolutely think that they are both uh, on track to have their digits hanging as well. Also, Coach, I want to ask you about the um, the freshman class. I mean, they didn't put up a lot of numbers. Say the last game, they, they came up pretty big. And how they how are they developing in your eyes? You know, um, Crystal Saunders is very heralded coming in, and you know we expect a lot from her. And I think she it's it's easy for a, a guard who has a a shot, a real good scorer's mentality to just fit right in here. Um, but I think the emergence of Mariah Brown in the last couple games really is going to help us in the ACC. We've really, really been hoping that she would come on. And, you know, she's aggressive to the glass and um, real physical presence for us. And, you know, what our freshmen are doing, including Selena Archer, including um, Stephanie Gardner, they're sharing the basketball. They're playing with two great scores, and they know it. So they want to establish themselves, but they also understand who they're playing with. And that's a really mature kid that can come in and not get overexcited, and I'm going to show Coach what I'm going to do. They're playing Miami basketball, trying to find their niche, and um, you know, going into the ACC, you know, they're, they're passing the ball very well. And freshmen don't usually share the ball that well. They're usually a little over-anxious. So um, I'm excited about them, and um, we're going to need them. We're absolutely going to need them in, in January and February. It's our last December game, and we're very aware of it. It's January and February now, and we need to be playing perfect. Raquana, can you just talk about your defensive effort tonight? Nine steals? <laughs> Almost ten. The ref got in the way. Um, I was having a bad offensive night. Like Coach said I wasn't. But, um, like, I try to remember, like, not going backwards. And, like, my freshman year, I would just stop competing, like, completely and not do anything and then, like, want to be taken out of the game. So just helping out in different ways. Like, it's not all about scoring. So just having we win it. It's all about winning. And Mel Phelps, that she had 22 and 10, six assists, four steals, um, MVP of the Classic. Uh, oh, oh, for real? Yeah, for uh, Raquana, player as well, uh, on yeah. the uh, Classic Excellent. team. But uh, can you speak on uh, all around game, uh, starting to pick up, coming into uh, conference play here in a couple of years? Yeah, you know that's in the back of my mind. <laughs> Um, you know, you definitely want to be playing your best basketball coming in December and January, and um, I'm just trying to 
push myself to play hard every game, not just when ACC is coming around. I think we just need to establish ourselves and get our chemistry going. Um, and I'm just really trying to play hard and just really show the freshmen and everybody how it's supposed to go. Because when you get to the ACC and stuff really start going, um, you can't take, take any plays off. So I'm just really trying to get my wind up and um, just continue to play hard every, every possession. And uh, <clears throat> there seemed to be a, a big difference first half mentality to second half mentality. Um, what happened during halftime to, to, to get the team, the team going? Know, <laughs> Make you see the training really long. Well. Um, yeah. Halftime was all about effort. We were getting out rebounded. We were getting out rebounded on our own home court. Um, and that was embarrassing. And so um, I think I just said you were getting out rebounded by Morgan State, and you all can fix this. And I said some other words. I thought I said it really nice. But, um, you know, you have, a, you have a team here that's very mature, and they, we want the same things. So it, there's not this gap between what coach sees and what coach says versus what my leaders see and what they say. It's very we're, – we're all on the same page. So, I mean, I can rant and rave, and, and I do, but at the same time, they're up looking at me straight in the eye, nodding their heads like, yeah, we know. They already know. So they knew what it was, so it was a matter of fixing it. And, um, and either the, the effort on the glass in the second half was just astounding. But it also was embarrassing to show you that we weren't paying attention to it in the first half. If we could do it in the second half, why couldn't we do it in the first half? So, um, you know, we're, we're going to keep pushing and pressing. And we just got to play perfect basketball. And even when you play a perfect basketball game in the ACC, you don't always come out a winner. And so, you know, we can't, we can't miss 11 free throws. We can't go one for 15 from the three. We can't get out rebound in the first half. We would have been down a heck of a lot with those numbers. Um, and so we got to change it real quick. And that's why we're going to get up tomorrow morning and, and practice again. Yeah, one day off, and then listen, last mm -hmm. not conference in the year. Uh, yep. any, anything you got to work on going into that game? Yeah, we, we, we were a little bit off offensively tonight, and I do give credit to Morgan State. I thought they had a really nice defensive game plan and disjointed us a little bit. And, um, you know, also I think our just focus just wasn't quite there. So when we get focused and, and, and play and share the ball like we've been sharing it, um, we'll be just fine. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.